In 2015, the United Nations created milestones for humanity called Sustainable Development Goals. There are 17 of them in total, ranging from preserving the planet to eliminating poverty. But the one which is the need of the hour is good health and well-being. The ongoing COVID pandemic is the most catastrophic tragedy in our lifetimes. This cataclysm was when human life lost all its value, when people were parted from their loved ones forever, when hospitals were overwhelmed, when people died in the streets, when crematoria and graveyards overflowed with the bodies of the deceased. The only saviour we have is science. Science holds the key to solving the pandemic. An important life-saving application of science is the oxygen concentrator. It takes in air from the atmosphere, filters it and gives medical grade oxygen to patients. But how does it work? Let's find out. The Earth's atmosphere consists of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Therefore, for patients who need oxygen therapy, simply giving the normal air is not enough. We must filter the air and convert it into medical grade oxygen. A concentrator does exactly that. The main components of a concentrator are air filter, compressor, heat exchanger, two zeolite sieve beds, product tank and pressure regulator. First, the air filter filters out large impurities such as dust and pollen. This filtered air is passed on to the compressor. The compressor compresses those gases to high pressures. This compressed air is then sent to the heat exchanger to cool down the hot compressed air. This air reaches one of two zeolite sieve beds. Zeolite is a mineral made of aluminium, silicon and oxygen and has a unique crystal lattice. Due to this structure, it is porous and has adsorptive properties because of which it acts as a molecular sieve. Thus, molecules of nitrogen get stuck to its surface where oxygen molecules pass right through them as they are smaller in size. At this stage, we have successfully extracted pure oxygen. This oxygen is then sent to the product tank and then to the pressure regulator where the pressure and flow of oxygen can be regulated. However, there is still one problem. Eventually, nitrogen clogs up seabed A, reducing its performance. So the valve on A closes and the normal air is sent instead to seabed B to be converted to pure oxygen. And some pure oxygen from it is sent backwards to A to clean it. Thus, a patient can receive continuous flow of medical grade oxygen till the power is provided to the concentrator. Now we know the detailed inner workings of the concentrator, which was made possible by science. Science, which is often thought of as abstract, is saving lives through its application in technology. Hopefully, now you have a greater appreciation for science. I would like to end with a quote from Pasteur. Science knows no country because knowledge belongs to humanity and it is the torch that illuminates the world.